as we get closer and closer to Q3, Star Season Alpha 4.0 looks more and more interesting. May 2023 monthly report, let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Mariah House. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. Let's get into it. We finally got our hands on the monthly report for May and it's looking more and more interesting. It seems like these updates are now more focused on 4.0 and it is the primary patch that they are focusing on for the end of the year. So we're going to go straight into it. Um, for the monthly report under AI tech, the AI tech team began to work to allow NPCs to understand when cover is being destroyed or when parts of a usable is being destroyed. This will prevent the NPC from attempting to find or use the unsuitable cover. Seems like they're working to make the AI much smarter, but uh, what I really look forward to is the NPCs being responsive on the server at all times. That's what I'm really looking forward to. So hopefully uh 4.0 these servers are much more improved and stable in terms of npc performance up next is animation it says gameplay animation focus work on numerous creatures including the unreleased ksr grazer so now that's the space cow that we saw i'm curious to see more creatures i think the uh, initial release of creatures in the game which is going to be the may rock as well as the um the dog creature the i'm not forgetting the name of what but you guys all seen it um it's it's pretty good i think it was a good implementation um for uh 3.23 so i look forward to more creatures in the future up next is character art it says here the character art team completed the high poly phase for two specialist armors and continue updating the utility armor a new heavy specialist armor begun development too that's pretty cool i think um i i really look forward to specialist armors uh, honestly we need more civilian base armor sets in, in the game honestly because um right now a lot of the armor sets are primarily military base and i think that's not that's not realistic it's it's not star citizen isn't really a, a military base right it's more like a life base so the fact that they're focusing on uh, utility armors, armor sets, or specialist armor sets um, is awesome. The very first set that we've seen is the um, the cold suit and the hot suit, and I think uh, they look great. So I can't wait to see other armor sets. CIG did tease um, in the past about uh, um, some other armor set where the the it was a long time ago where it looked really good and the it was kind of like a, a hot suit and uh the character was walking in a in a hot environment and was carrying also a bag in the arm and it looked pretty cool so they have some really good concepts hopefully they deliver them soon and uh, hopefully i can't wait to actually use them hopefully they do also have um features uh that will enable us similar to the 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 um the military uh, helmets that give you the uh the uh, hud for your cursor, for your uh, gun cursor. Um, hopefully uh, some of these uh, suits give you special um, features or abilities. Okay, so they also say character art also supported requests for character customizer while the hair team uh, started work on new hairstyles for the future releases. We've known about this. Progress was also made on new creatures. So more and more creatures are going to be coming down the line. Like I said in the past, uh, we will be seeing new creatures each major patch moving uh, moving uh, forward. So uh, that's going to be pretty cool. For ship art, they did LOD completion for DR size Zeus. Uh, Mark 2 so can't wait to see that it also says your ship art team has also started work on three new vehicles that's being put into white box so I'm curious to see what vehicles those are on the core gameplay it says the core gameplay pillar completed a significant amount of work on multi-tool refactor plan for 4.0 this will provide a more streamlined experience by putting the tools primary attachment action on the left mouse button and the secondary action on the right mouse button all right and next is going to be for biome accumulation the team completed further squad and 42 porting work and scoped out how features will integrate into the weather system so it looks like cig is working on the weather system and i think what they want to implement is more so a dynamic weather system that encompasses the entire planet or planetary body 
and the idea the notion of um, biome accumulation is going to be awesome so that this means if there's going to be uh, just 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 an idea if it rains a lot um, certain areas will start to fill up with uh, maybe ponds or and, and things like that or if there is a lot of snow um, if it snows a lot then you'll see the terrain start to fill up with um, snow um, so I think that's what they're going for based on this um, but we'll have to see once uh, this delivers um, up next it says charge and drain um, also continue through pre-production and will now utilize the resource networks support multiplayer and ability to charge and drain distortion damage from ship components we did hear about this uh previously i think this was one of the committed features uh for poor porno uh thus far so i'm um, looking forward to that the initial version of jump drive failure event was implemented by may now when the ship jump drive is disabled for damage the player will be forced out of the tunnel which correctly aligns with the exit point in the destination star system so even if your jump drive fails mid mid jump it will still land you into the star system eventually i think they want to shoot you out into in the middle of nowhere i think that's what they want to do i'm not sure if they still intend to do that but um uh, we'll, we'll have to see what they implement in the future with this. Up next, it says estimating scheduling were completed uh, for the remaining radar and scanning tasks, including deliverable targets. Uh, team members supporting the patch release uh, concluded their work and moved on to supporting radar and scanning. So I can't wait for that as well. It says finally for radar and scanning, the team activated FPS radar and other experimental radar features across the reading commander. These systems will be reassessed closer to the release of 4.0 uh, for potential preview via Arena Commander. So that's going to be awesome. I'm glad they built out Arena Commander for us to get early access uh, to see these features. Um, I think one of the big ones was the engineering gameplay that they put in into Arena Commander. That was huge for them to allow us to release, uh, get an early look um, um, with that. So uh, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, it says here the new front end style was uh, fully approved and begun implementation polish was completed on new animation and the first example of a brand takeover was approved using drake that's interesting so we're definitely going to get a new flat uh splash uh a new screen on uh, main for the main menu uh, i think every major patch they always do this uh, so for Perno, i think they're gonna try to uh, revolutionize maybe uh, the look and how look and feel of it so um, can't wait to see that uh, it says gameplay feature continue with the close out of freight elevators storage access kiosk instance and personal hangers and commodity trading updates what I'm gonna do on this on the screen right now I'm gonna put some images of some of these things that they provided through the uh, monthly report so that you can get some visual um, context um in, in terms of uh, what they provided it says stacks of items can now be split in the storage access and freight elevator kiosk ui and filters for item categories were implemented so up next is the economy it says the effort and reward algorithm was documented which enables the economy team to determine the technicalities of of implementing the mission system refactor once live, mission rewards will be based on time and difficulty to complete. A design for the refactor of shop systems is underway that will provide more flexibility for trading commodities and item shopping. Progress was made on algorithm to determine the base price of commodities. So hopefully we can make some good profit with trading. Trading from system to system is going to be one of the things that I'm going to be really curious about to see some of the profit margins we can we can get uh, moving items from pyro to stanton and and, and back and forth so uh, that's what i'm looking forward to next one is interactable it says liquid carrying cargo containers were worked on with all sizes from white box to final underlining the scene it says the team has begun the look dev stage on the new cave archetype other location it says the landing zone continue work with crafting the remaining stations for pyro the organics team continue iterating on new biome so that's gonna be cool so right now all the all, all focus is on pyro and building it out i believe 
it's going to look drastically different from what we've seen in the tech preview. Um, and I think uh, I'm really excited for it, man. I'm really excited for it. And and what we saw then was was pretty awesome. So uh, under online technology, so the team began work on potential Alpha 4.0 release features such as the mission system refactor, the marker system refactor, and the player trade feature in support of server meshing. So yeah, trading between players is going to be a huge thing. I think that's going to be awesome. What I look forward to is for them to implement some sort of maybe an app on your mobile glass or the terminals at trading trading outposts where we can go and see buy orders and sell orders of other players and i think uh, if they do that that would be awesome that would be awesome and um uh it, it's it's one of the things that allow uh a game like eba online to really shine because the economy is so good so i look forward to seeing something similar implemented in star citizen next it says vfx also completed effects pass on several new vehicles including for thrusters and damage so man what vehicles are they talking about that's what i'm curious about before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe catch you guys on the next one